Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns, and this is going to be for the week of the 20th through the 25th of November. I will be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdom Tarot. So let's see what messages we have for the collective, for Capricorn, that is. Let's see. Okay, Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. So Capricorn, this is for you. The Ace of Earth, past energy here, came into some financial opportunity, something that brought you abundance. It could have been a promotion. It could have been a whole new job. It could have been an idea. But this was a financial opportunity for you. It did bring in some money. It made things calm down in your environment. You did the right thing. The Justice card, that was the Six of Air. The King of Earth, I would say this is you, Capricorn. The Ten of Fire, you feel like you have a lot to do, you know, like you have a lot on your shoulders and you feel kind of heavy right now, like burden, you know, like you're carrying something. Just stop for a minute and see if there's another way you can do whatever it is that has you feeling that way. Okay, or ask for some help. You got the Hermit, you may need to go within and do some soul searching, meditation, find yourself, get all the answers you need there within. You got the Ten of Air, there's some kind of ending here, but there's also recovery. So this, this ending is not gonna last for long, it might be short-lived, or it's gonna end and you'll be fine. You know what I mean? The Seven of Air, this is about Betrayal, being aware of your environment and your surroundings. Um, it also means consequences. And the seven of earth, something from the past, something that you planted. So let's see. Okay, so stop worrying, all right? If you're worried about money, you started off here with the ace of earth, and now, because you got something here with finances in the past, and now you're waiting for it to bloom, just be patient. You're worrying unnecessarily. On top of the Ace of Earth, we got the release card, which is endings and new beginnings somehow well you got the release card and you got the transformation card here a significant life event here um capricorn this is past energy you need to find some kind of balance okay there's something that happened something that ended that gave you it, it shook you up really badly um you need to find some kind of balance i got the release card the transformation card and the balance card Okay, you need to find a little bit of balance. There's something that took place not too long ago for you. However, relief is in sight. All right. Remember, nothing stays the same. On top of the six of air, you have the ace of cups, you have the nine of air, and you have the five of fire. So the ace of cups is about a new emotional experience for you. Something happened here that Maybe something really ended. But the Ace of Cups is about like new love, a new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, or a deep friendship. Or it could be you starting to 
trust yourself and listen to yourself. It could be your intuition. You got the nine of air, but I don't think this is your intuition here. I think this is you, something to do with love not too long ago. It has you in your head a lot and you're really overthinking things and it's probably keeping you up at night. And it's causing you a lot of conflict. With others or within yourself, okay? You got the Ace of Water, you got the Nine of Air, and you have the Five of Fire. This situation, man, this art, this conflict that you you were experiencing probably wasn't even worth your time. Um, the Justice card, you did do the right thing. We got the Queen of Fire. It might have had you did the right thing where the Queen of Fire was concerned. This could be a fire energy. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. The Five of Earth is about the mindset of lack. You feel like you don't have, but you need to look around you and see all that you do have. Okay, babies? And the lovers, you have to make a choice. There's a choice you need to make, darling. <laughs> you did the right thing. But you're still, you're still like torn. You're not sure. I got the, the queen of fire. I got the five of earth. The five of earth is like the mindset of lack. You feel like you don't have. Negative thoughts manifest into the real challenges. Okay. Let me say that again. Negative thoughts manifest into real challenges. I find a lot of com comments, you know, like in my seeing my comments sometimes so negative you know like i am so broke i am this i all this negative stuff and don't do that don't do that why would you do that to yourself things might be tight you know what i'm saying but you need to keep your eye on the prize and see where you're going don't you give up so you got the queen of fire this queen of fire had you have some kind of mindset of lack. Something is lacking here with this, this energy. And you're going to have to make a choice. Okay, you got the queen of fire. You got the five of um, um, earth. And you have the lovers there. Then you have the king of earth, which would be you. Prosperous, generous, successful. You got the ten of earth. You got the nine of cups. And you got the justice card. The Ten of Earth is about abundance, financial security, coming into some unexpected finances. Maybe this is currently happening for you. Your wishes come true. And this may have something to do with the law. I got the Justice card here again. Stand up for what you believe in and try to see all sides of the situation, okay? You will win if your position is one of integrity. You will win if your position is one of integrity. We got the Ten of Earth, we got the Nine of Cups, and we got the Justice card. <laughs> and we have the Ten of Fire. So overwork, stress, you're in, you know, there's a balance, you're off balance, <laughs> imbalanced. You got the Six of Earth, you got the Four of Fire, and you got the Knight of Cups next. Remember this, guys. What you put out into the universe, you do get back. So the good you do, you will receive. All right? You're going to have an unexpected inflow of abundance, and you're going to feel financially balanced. You have so much to celebrate, so much to celebrate, and there is something coming towards you in the romance department. Falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair. The only advice I have for you, eh, all of you guys, <laughs> <clears throat> sex is not love, okay? Good sex is not love. It feels good, but start thinking about your body, you know? You know, and I'm not saying this is going to resonate with everyone because not everyone is like this, you know, but honor your body, honor you. Don't, don't, don't let any and everybody just, you know, have 
their way with you, so to speak. Now, mind you, I do know that you have the desire to, okay? Now, what I'm saying, though, is just hold back, you know? Make sure this is exactly what you want. Because the Knight of Cups here is just like a little rendezvous thing, you know? That's all, all it's about. So you got the Six of Earth, you got the Four of Fire, and you got the Knight of Cups on top of the Ten of Fire. Maybe you already had the rendezvous, and now you are worrying about it. Huh. I don't know. Only you know the situation. And there's no judgment here. You hear me? You are human. We are all human. Just be mindful, okay? Be mindful of who you plug into and who you allow plug into you. You hear me? Everybody. Masculines and feminines. All right? We got the hermit. On top of the hermit, you're doing some introspection. You're doing some meditation. You're doing some serious thinking. You feel a little off balance. It's just because you're working too hard and you got a lot of things to accomplish. The page of air. We got the two of earth. We got the page of air and we got the night of fire. The page of air. <clears throat> you're on the alert for something. An exciting intellectual challenge. Some messages coming in. You never know. And they're coming in pretty fast. You got the night of fire. Oh, yeah, the night of fire. Some passionate energy coming here. Mm. Trust your instincts and stay focused. It's a passionate relationship. Make sure it's the right passion though, okay? All right. I mean, we got the two of pentacles. We got the page of air and we got the knight of fire. There's some passionate, confident energy coming. You hear me? But then you see this, this Knight of Cups here is telling me like it ain't that serious. But you see, I mean, sometimes there's just this desire. So then we got the Ten of Air here, right? <clears throat> so the Ten of Air is like about, it's about endings, but these endings are temporary. They're not permanent. Or it could be an ending and then you recover, you rebound really pr pretty fast. You know, you don't stay down in that emotion too long. Um, you got the Ace of Earth, a financial um, new beginning or a windfall of um, abundance. An exciting new career opportunity for you. You got the Four of Cups, you're thinking about it, but you're failing to, real you're failing to realize the magical opportunity that you do have. However, that resonates for you, okay, babies? And we got the Knight of Earth. Pay attention to the details. Someone is a guardian angel or someone watches over you. The Knight of Earth is about having a routine, you know, and slow and steady is the pace. You know what you're doing and you're just going towards it, you know? But there's a new beginning here, but make sure you don't miss this magical opportunity for you. You got the Four of Cups and then you got the Knight of Air. It's slow and steady right now for you. All that stuff has calmed down there. And then you got the Seven of Air. <clears throat> now the Seven of Air is about you being aware that there might be something in your environment that you need to be aware of. Um, it could also be consequences, okay? And it's just basically like a warning too. Could be that someone is betraying you. You got the six of fire. There's going to be victory. No matter what, you're going to overcome that or you're going to see through and you're going to be able to handle that situation. You got the six of fire. You got the renewal card, which is about self-evaluation. So do some self-evaluation. It doesn't harm. It doesn't hurt at all. You know, um, I, it actually makes you feel brand new. It makes you feel good inside. And then we got the chariot here. Rewards are coming pretty fast. Determination and willpower is coming. A little rocky coming in, but it's coming in. You got the Six of Fire, you got the Renewal card, and you got the Chariot. And then you got the Seven of Earth. On top of the Seven of Earth, you got the Six of Cups, you got the Ten of Air, and you got the six, the Eight of Cups. <laughs> I looked right back when I... So with the Six of Cups... <clears throat> you remember now the seven of pentacles i said it was something that you probably passed 
planted in the in the past you don't need to worry about so the six of cups is, is thinking about the past you're thinking about whatever it is you're thinking about it um the ten of air is the end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both you had the ten of air over here as well this um the opportunity for new happiness also with the ten of air um a weight off your shoulders the end of an addiction yeah, it could be the end of an addiction. Okay, never saw that one. This I haven't, <laughs> I haven't really used these cards. And then we got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the need to move on. You need to move on. You need to move on from the past, from whatever it is that you're you're thinking about. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, there's gonna be an ending there, and it's time to move on. We got the Six of Cups, we got the Ten of Air, and we got the Eight of Cups. Well, it seems like you're gonna you're gonna choose whatever it is that you're gonna walk towards. <laughs> You're seeking more from life than what you're experiencing, what you're currently experiencing. We got the four of earth. You're managing your resources wisely. It says extremes in how you give or receive money at times. Seeing things just black and white. Okay. And it could be that you're just feeling balanced financially. Then we have the seven of fire. Stand up for yourself. I say you're facing all your challenges head on. And you will accomplish everything you set out to do. We got the page of fire. You're enthusiastic, optimistic. You're very creative right now. You might be having some news of a new, um, a new opportunity for you. A new creative opportunity or something. Exciting opportunity. Remember to do things that um, fuel your passion. And then you got the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. Use your intuition where this energy is concerned. The King of Cups could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. And the Page of Cups, use your intuition. Okay? So there is something going on here. I have a feeling it has to do with love. It has something to do with money. There was something hap something happened like something happened that really shook you up not too long ago. Whatever is going on, it has it there's you have to make a decision where this fire energy is concerned. Okay? Remember this reading will not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. But you coming into some money, you got some financial opportunities around you, but don't be so stuck up in here that you don't you, that you miss these magical moments, so to speak, okay? Don't miss the magical moments. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, and we will chat soon. Make that decision, okay, babies?